It's no secret that loneliness among our older population was at an all time high even before COVID-19. With orders to stay at home blanketing the nation, this issue of isolation and loneliness was magnified. While the wonderful employees at Cox Communications uh, recognized the problem and did something about it. Here to tell us all about it is Cox employee and volunteer, Cynthia Flatez, along with Lucy, also known as Mama Lucy, who celebrated her 82nd birthday while under quarantine. Quarantine. Good morning to you both and happy birthday, Mama Lucy. Thank you. So, Thank you. So great to see you both. Now, Cynthia, what encouraged you to volunteer for this one call a day program? So Cox Communications is very big about volunteering, giving back to the community. We've done a lot of projects and our footprints with this day at home. And go out and do what we normally like to do. So they came up with a great plan on how to volunteer and still help our seniors and veterans out in the community. They created the One Call a Day program and I immediately jumped on it. It's a twofold benefit for me because I get to do what I love and I still get to honor my mom who's no longer here with us. Oh, that's very sweet, yeah. So Lucy, how did, how did you find out about the One Call a Day program? My granddaughter, Alana, is the one told me about it and signed me up for it. Uh, and she lived in New York. But anyway, when she told me about it, and I told, asked me how would I like to do, and I didn't know anything about it. So she hooked me up with it. And when I got hooked up, I don't want to get unhooked. Cause I, <laughs> <laughs> I talked to Cynthia and she was so sweet and still is. So uh, I talked to her, I mean, I don't talk to her every day. When she don't call me, I know a number and I call her. Okay. And I thank God for her because we talk about me and we talk about God. And I'm so glad she know God. It wasn't like I was introducing her to him. So I thank God was the one to pull us together. And I thank God for her. That's amazing. Now, Cynthia, so how has your friendship with Lucy um, positively impacted your life? Oh, my God. I wish I could tell you in words, but... Let me just say that um, not having my mom here doesn't mean I don't have a mom. I now have a mom in Lucy. She has definitely stepped up to the challenge and she's doing a great job. You know, she counsels me, she educates me. She's got so much history, so much information. I didn't speak with her. You have to value your elders because they really do make who you are. And if I can be as good as she in 82, and if I reach that age, I hope somebody does for me what she thinks I'm doing for her. No doubt. Absolutely. Absolutely. So is this volunteer program um, going to be continuing at Cox? <laughs> so we started in California and now it's branched out na nationwide. So wherever we have a footprint, we have um, this project going on. If people want more information on it, they can go to the web. It's the connections program project, sorry.com, the connections project.com and they can find out more information. Excellent. So Lucy, how has your new connection with Cynthia helped you through this quarantine period? It helped me a lot. It's something to look forward to. You know, I'm living today, but I, tonight I'm already thinking about tomorrow. I'm going to talk to her. Oh. Everything worked out real good. It's a pleasure to talk to her. And then it's not like she talked critical things. It's always positive. We talk about the Bible. We talk about her mother. And we talk about my 19 grandchildren and, and, the, and the nine great grands. And we just have such a time talking to each other about ourselves. Well, we gossip about ourselves. Well, does the, uh, <laughs> does the, the um, because you, one's on the East Coast, one's on the, on the West Coast, you know, does that, do you find a good time that you can connect? I think the perfect time is my lunch break because I'm still working from home, so I, I don't get to just not work. So at my lunch break at 11 in the morning, I call her. It's 1 o'clock her time. She just had lunch. I'm about to have lunch. So we get to talking. And before you know it, I have to go back to work <laughs> All without right. lunch. That sounds fa fabulous. Thank you so much, ladies. And again, happy birthday to you, Mama Lucy, and uh, for all the great work that you do, Cynthia. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate your Thank time. All right, for more information on this wonderful program, visit the website on your screen. Cox Communications is a proud sponsor of Las Vegas Morning Blend.